All right, all right. Well, they're really giving us a hard fucking time on this one. We got to push hard. I mean, they're really, they're really doing some crazy shit. Okay, so this one here, the little, yeah, yeah, the little, little twink boy. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we got him a good storyline, right? Okay. Well, let's put Jason. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And we'll make them kids for sure. People will like that. And, uh, okay, this other one, the horse girl. Okay, yeah, she's, yeah, okay, she's, she's doing okay. I, uh, oh, oh, she's in the library. Well, we'll, we'll make something good happen. We'll kind of just let her do whatever. Uh, now tell me, how the hell did this B storyline happen? And I don't, I don't mean like a B plot. I mean like, what is this B storyline? It, it makes no goddamn sense. Oh my God! Listen, listen. Okay, we have to make sure the the, the yeah yeah the, the little the little skinny man. We have to make sure his storyline's good for our special guest because I do not want to make him mad. All right, okay, all right, all right. We'll pull it up here and then uh, all right, let's let's all right, let's get this going because I I do not want to be murdered. He will he will murder all of us for sure. Episode seventeen, main character. on Marlon whipping down back streets and roads going the wrong way as Cobb on purpose yeah as Cobb or Jason Statham Cobb is out there blasting <laughs> at the cops he's just shooting out tires left and right like his shirt is like now open he half oh fuck I don't know how it's many a 12 abs. pack Marlon like you take like this real sharp turn and then uh, as that's happening a few of the cops are now shooting back Cobb does get shot uh, in the gut Cobb. and like he like goes in there he's like oh, Oh my god! Oh, got me. We gotta, we gotta get to the safe house, Marlon. Okay, I'll, I'll get you there. I'll get you there. I, I lean over. Yeah. I, and yeah, I kiss, kiss him. Oh, I give him a little kiss. Almost gets, wreck. I go back. Yeah, I go yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you guys, you guys kiss. He like takes a grenade out and just like throws it behind him. Uh, there's like a ton, tons of explosions. Marlon, in the back seat of your your getaway car, you do see somebody. Uh, he's got like long wavy brown hair. He's wearing like a bright orange hoodie. He's got kind of like a cloth mask. that's like halfway up around his neck. You've never seen him before. Before. He's not the driver or anything. He's not. He wasn't the driver. The driver is different. Uh, you know the, the driver. It's uh, you know driver Dan. Driver Dan who's Dr dead now. Yeah, driver Dan who's dead now. It's a, that's a whole other show. His thing, nominative determinism strikes again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you see a guy in the back. He's just like, man, this is wild, man. You're you're like a really good driver. That's that's crazy. Uh, th thank you. Who are you? Oh, man, you know, this is me, guy. I'm just like, you know, I was just like making my way around. And like, this one's like pretty cool, Guy, can man. you put pressure on his, his bullet wound? Oh, shit, Cow's man. Oh, wound? yeah. Who's this guy up it's here? Cobb. Man? Oh, my name's Guy Rand. It was like, I'm Cobb. What's going on? And he like spits up a little bit of blood. <laughs> and like, Marlon, you almost wreck again. Because like, like... <sighs> For some reason, it, you do like uh, as we get like a real nice shot of like just kind of like crimson red blood, just kind of like going down Cobb's like lips and chin, but it's just like such a strong chin and like also pouty, just like <laughs> sentimental lips. Yeah, yeah, and, like, yeah. Just, just like drop, and then once again, like you like swerve off, hits, My eyes get yeah, drawn hits, over. Some, hits some like fucking <laughs> mailboxes that are in the city. My mail, <laughs> my mail, no mail. Yeah, uh, apple cart, window pane. Yeah, yeah, two yeah. Guys. All this is going through, uh, and then guys like, yeah, man, far out. I'll, I'll help this dude. What's up? And so he he like takes off. Thanks, guy. Yeah, he takes off like his orange hoodie. He's wearing just kind of like a tie dye shirt underneath. He's like, all right, man. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. I haven't done like an like an action one in a while. Most people don't go. This this hard man how many people you kill a lot <laughs> oh man that's are oh, you smoking crack man a little bit oh that's yeah. cool you mind if i get a little bit of yeah go do, what do you what do you want do you want like a cut of the oh no i the money from the know, job i'm just like it's, here for the okay. journey man you know we gotta get to the safe house we got like oh, one hell more yeah, mile. man that's like a that's cool yeah I, I think it's like up here on the left oh uh, okay 
Yeah, and, it, yeah, and you just like turn in and like you do this like drift around a corner like you're like like using a compass just to like draw a circuit perfectly as you just like go into this fucking uh, Oh then I parallel park. Yeah, yeah, you go into this like just side little tuck away hideaway for the car and all the cop cars are like zooming past. Uh <laughs> right now Cobb is he's not like dead, but he's like passed out, you know, from all the uh. blood. Uh, and like we we like get a shot of his chest because like you like move the thing to see how bad it is and like there's just like sweat dripping down these very well t- not like you should get that checked out because that's too much sun but like perfect amount of sun kind of down there very well manicured just like hair and everything like that uh, and then once again there's just kind of like this is like just. <sighs> You know, it's it's it is a beautiful shade of red. You don't want Cobb to die, but it is nice to see the colors. Uh, and then like you know we, but the the cops leave and the guys just like, man, what's going on, man? So what, Marlin, right? Yeah. Hell yeah, man. So yeah, if we're gonna like go to the safe house, you know, we should go ahead and do it. The cops, you know, they're just gonna run their loop, man. Yeah. Can you get? I'll, I'll get his like under his arms. Can you get his legs? We'll yeah. Him hold that, man. I can. Cobb, how you doing? I can just do this. And then like you don't. It doesn't make sense to Marlin. But you literally see Guy just kind of put his hand through, like, Cobb. Like, it looks like how in, like, ghost movies you can just put your hand in. You just see him, like, reach in the back of, like, Cobb's back. And his, like, wrist turns. And, like, you see, like, Cobb, like, move and shake. And then, like, the bullet wound is Guy. Oh. And, like, he's now, he's just like, oh, my. That's great driving back there. We got... We got out of that one close. I almost got shot back there. Yeah, we got to stop smoking crack we got, before jobs. I mean, we... But we're, we, we can, can smoke still, after jobs. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Because I mean, and the I job's at, done. I look at him and I look at Guy. Is is Cobb acknowledging yeah. Guy at all? Oh no, Guy's just in the back smoking crack. I say thanks, man. He's like, hell yeah, man. This is great. I mean, my, I'm just gonna keep tagging along. You've been like the most interesting, you know, channel. So I'm just gonna stick here. Okay, cool. As long as, long as you help me out, you're welcome to tag hell along. Yeah, okay, man, come on, Cobb. Great. Let's go. Yeah, smoke it's, crack. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys, you guys get all the crack. Make it rain. Uh, there was more, and there wasn't like we. Everybody that you you watched the last episode. They they somehow have a lot more crack than they left off with in the last one. We don't know what's happening, but it's there for sure. Uh, so we cut over to Jamie. You're in the back library, like looking around. You do find a book. It's called uh, what was it again? How to write your yeah. own story. Yeah, how to write your own story. And there's a, a Tony Robbins that someone just like looks exactly like Tony Robbins on the book. And you open it up, and it is a blank book. Fuck, no. that's good. And you like flip the pages, and the very first page at the top of it it says "Start here." <laughs> well, I'm I'm gonna find a pen at the little information desk and and yeah. write in it so and you, see what happens. You go up. There's a glow on this shelf where it's just different pens placed like across some are very fancy some are very silly some are smaller than others some are one one, one whole shelf just one pen that's how big it is do so they, funny uh, did they have any horse, uh, yeah, horse pens? yes because there's the thing there is just this one pen that's just in the very dead center shelf and like you know and just like and and, and it's just kind of like a little light on it and on top of it it's just like a little horsey what color is, is the horse? Well, I think the pin is gold and yeah. the horse is gold on top. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's metal. It's like a golden, it's like, it's a, it's a golden ballpoint pen, shiny. It's Heavy. Like a chorus of angels. Yeah, and yeah it's noise. like, and it's one of the ones where like you like turn it like in the yeah, middle to, yeah, like, yeah. It, to get the pen out. Yeah, that's the one I'm going to use. Yeah, you grab that pen and you like, and, and you click it and you hear. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. And then in front of you, you see (gasps) D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan! He's like, Jamie, you unlocked me from the pen. I haven't seen you in so long. I know, Jamie, you've been compartmentalizing. Aww. You should let me out more. I'd I'd love to if I knew how. Well, just... Just stop, you know, I'm I'm kind of Donut's friend. If Donut's not around, you know, I can't be... Oh, but Donut says weird things to me sometimes. He's just, he's just that kind of guy. He'll get, to, he'll get used to it. But I don't want to do heroin. Well, you don't have to. If you don't want to, Jamie, that's the funny thing about heroin. Is that, wait, that's 
not the fun thing about heroin, I don't believe. Is this horse? Uh, well, I'm glad to see you. I have to write a story now. That's right. What if Dono was part of the story? Does he want me to do something? He just wants to be included. He's feeling a little left out. But if I talk to him, will you go away? No, I can still be here, Jamie. I'm always here for you because I'm a horse. And horses, <laughs> and horses are best friends. That's true. You've never met a horse you haven't been best friends with, am I right, Jamie? That's right, even the ones that tried to kick me. They're a little scared, and that's okay to be scared. Do you want to sing the It's Okay to Be Scared song? It's okay to be scared. Horses are your best friends anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Terry is just sitting there just watching Jamie talk to nothing. And then just you just start to it's okay to be scared. And then t- and you just we just get like the camera pans over to Terry and she's like, I'm gonna fucking die here. Like I'm gonna die. We're get, we're all fucking dead. Like just I'm like dead. have a cigarette. She's oh yeah, she's just she's just full, just like oh fuck, we're smoking dead. Smoking in the library. Okay, well, Dodo. Yeah, what's going on? I, I was just hanging out. What, did, what did you want? D'Artagnan's here, so I figured. Oh, Dart- you want oh, that's I, I, yeah, Dart- that's crazy. He's there. <laughs> no, I didn't know D'Artagnan was going to visit you. Yes, you did. What do you know? What do you want? I, just, I mean, you know, I just kind of I feel like you're, you know, you keep telling me to like stop. I, you know, I just. You keep telling me to do stuff I don't want to do. Uh, okay. What? What? That's peer pressure. I what learned if I about that. I ask you if you would like to do things because I would like to do them. That's better, but I don't want to do some things I don't want to do ever. What's off the table? Heroin. Oh, wow. That's a big one right off the top. Okay. No heroin specifically. And I'm not ready to do. You said fucking. I don't want to do that. I did talk about fucking. Yeah. I, I mean, it's just, I was telling you, you could have. You could have fucked that guy. Uh, I guess he, but he did explode, so I guess it's good you didn't. I don't want to. Yeah. No, I mean you don't have to. I'm just trying to give to Jack. Okay, so you don't, no heroin, no fucking maybe I maybe think, later. I think there's a good rule of thumb that if I haven't done it before, then I it, I need to decide whether I want to do it, regardless of whether you want to do it or not. You know? Okay, I guess that's you know. That's a boundary I'm trying to set with you. Okay. Well, I read about that in a self-help book. Okay, okay, that's okay. So I guess, you know, I guess you know, Dodo's live a little bit of a harder life than you, Jamie. So I guess you know, I gotta keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could ask me, have you ever done this before? And I'll say oh, yes or no. Okay, so that's. And if the answer is no, right. then I probably. You can ask me if I've ever done stuff before too, Jamie. I don't want to know. Just ask, well, you can you can ask a question. Have you ever lied to a friend before? Y- yeah. I know. Oh, that, that's all right. That's really nice there, Jamie. I see what you did. I mean, you know, okay, I haven't been like, completely honest with you, and, uh, you know, I might uh, put you a little bit of danger. Uh, and you said that this guy, Richard Concordus, is going to kill us and that we yeah. have to be safe, but I'm in, like, a weird TV universe, and I can't get out, and you're not helping me at all. All right, that's, that's fair. I got, I I got been, stabbed I know, in I'm, the back. I kind of been going through some things since Richard. I kind of, you know, it's... I have uh, a knife wound. I, uh, you know, I, okay. Um, it hurts. All right, Jay, I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you something else that I kind of didn't tell you before. What? Uh, Richard Concours isn't the only one that wants to kill us. Who else wants to kill us? Well, you know, I'm not the only. I'm not. I am not the only apex. There's other ones of us like that. But there, uh, we do. We all have our own territories, and if you get challenged, you, know, you just can choose to step down, or you can. We do kind of have an honor battle that. Um, an honor battle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I challenged somebody because uh, they were they wanted my throne and uh, they did win. And I, I am, I am. I, they were supposed to. I was supposed to submit to death, and I ran. Uh, I ran. I ran away. Uh, and then I was hiding out at, in the cassowary, and I needed a. I needed like a more sentient host. That I, I found you. Yeah, yeah. You just. Did you lie to the cassowary too? No, I can. I can. Uh, I'm not like a cassowary per se. It was just like the form that I was last in. And it's kind of, but I, I, you know, I, you kept telling the cassowary every day that, you know, you, about the adventures you want to go on. And I heard it and I knew that, yeah, if I asked you if you wanted to bond together, you would, you would just say yes. And uh, now here's what, here's what I feel real bad about. I did say you're chosen, but uh, you, you weren't. You just, Jamie, no one's going to look for me in a, in a, in a, 
like a tiny 20 year old girl's body uh, apexes usually bond with more robust and so i i, I picked you because you're easy to hide in jamie and i kind of thought I, I didn't need you to live that long and uh so yeah you're, you're in danger for more than one it's not just richard it's now that two people are after us so you chose to kill me i if you yes but you you want to be friends now? I would. I'd like to help you not die. I kind of feel a little bit better, you know. Being in, be, I, I mean, we are bonded, and we are starting to like become like more in sync. And I know more about you, and I know I kind of there's some things that I like now, and you know, I, I, you know, I feel like maybe I can help you if you if you help me, and uh, I think you're starting to realize you got a bit more power over me than I've let you know. How can I help you? Well, if we, the more we kind of become bonded, the better we'll be at fighting uh, off things that are trying to kill us. Like the other Apex? Yeah, yeah, Richard, the other Apex. Because right now I can, I'm still, I, I got beat in the back. I'm still very weak. I can, tran I haven't transformed because I'm not, I used a lot of it. I went full, full me to, you know, whenever, because you were about to die at Master's Carpets, I had to save us. But I took a lot out of me. I, you know, it's harder for me to do this. But it's, I don't think you did it to save us, though. I think you did it to save you. <sighs> you know, I'm trying to be more honest with you, Jamie. That is one, uh, yeah, that's it. Because I, I'm, yeah. Well, I want to stay alive, too. So we have that in common. That's not really a great foundation for a friendship, though. Well, I'm, this, this is kind of the first time I've ever had uh, tried this. Yeah, I don't know if this would surprise you. I don't. I don't have a lot of other friends. How do you know when the other apex is gonna get us? I. I mean, I, we can sense each other, but that's the problem. Is if I if they're close enough for me to sense them, I'm close enough for them to sense us. But once again, like you're pretty. You know, you're. I, I thought you were going to be unsuspected. I did not realize that you're going to go on a road trip with a man that made a deal with a demon and another man that has, you know, he's a bee right now. Careful, so, those are my real friends I, you're oh, talking about. I know, about. I'm just saying I didn't expect this turn of events, so. Uh, but, you know, I, I got to say, I've been, I, I've been enjoying it a little more than, uh, you know, other times. You can't judge a book by its cover. I'm way more interesting and cool than you thought. I know, and that's, I'm just, that's, I'm, I feel really bad about all of this. I'm starting to, you know, uh, whenever you bond with somebody, you do kind of m merge with their, with them in different ways. And most of the other people I bonded with are terrible, bloodthirsty monsters that do want to just, you know, fight their way to the, t I've never, you're, you're the. You've never bonded with a nice person? I, 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 not, not, I guess, no. This is what it's like. Well, you, I'm very disappointed you, in you. Uh, you. You feel so much all the time, Jamie. You are constantly feeling and just having emotions. Yeah, and I'm feeling upset that you say you want to help me, but I just got stabbed and well, you didn't I, do anything. Well, you know, I was kind of distraught. I liked that Marlon on the phone. I thought maybe Marlon finally was cool now. It sounded like he was doing a fun dance. I w there was a bunch of times that I would take over and just like, you know, kill whole villages, but I wouldn't kill people that did funny dances. Should I tell my friends that so that you won't kill them too? I mean, I can't, I won't kill your friends, you know, unless they're rude. I might do it a little bit, but sometimes rude people deserve to die, Jamie. Don't kill my friends. Okay, we, that's a, once again, we're doing, the, what was it called? Boundaries? Yeah. We're, yeah, we're don't, building boundaries. Don't kill my friends. Well, I'm writing this all down. No heroin, no fucking until you want it, and ask you if you've done something instead of suggesting it, and then right, right here, don't kill your friends. Dodo's got it down. Can you put that one at the first number one most the, the important? The not fucking or the no, the not killing my okay, friends. Okay, I'll kind of. I'm just. It's a mental list more so. So I am. That's you know, the most important. Don't kill one. your friends. Okay. Yeah. So can you help me get out of here? I don't want to be in this TV world. Okay. I mean, what? We're Ron. Ron, the the B man. He he said, you know, it's you gotta just complete the stories. Okay, well, I'm going to use this horse pen, and I'm going to write a story with D'Artagnan, and we're going to see if I finish it, if it's over. Yeah. Jay, I got to I gotta tell you one more thing. What? I am, I'm, I'm D'Artagnan. What? D'Artagnan's been standing there the whole time, and you do look over, and, like, D'Artagnan just kind of shrugs, and then, like, turns. You've never seen a horse shrug. It's yeah, fucking just, wild. It's, and then, just, yeah, he just shrugs, and then kind of turns into, like, the cassowary form, <laughs> and, Dodo, I'm, you know, I can just project stuff in your mind. And 
But I thought he was my friend too. He is your I, that's kinda you know, I made him first and then you're really nice to D'Artagnan. That's yeah. kinda what started making me feel this thing that I had before, which I guess was niceness to me. Or maybe I was being nice to I don't know, but it's it uh Me and D'Artagnan were nice to each other. I know, and that's kinda what I, I felt bad, but I felt I was just like I wanna come out of the D'Artagnan mask and start Jamie. <sighs> I still want to see him sometime. No, he can still be here. I mean, if you want, I can talk to you like D'Artagnan all the time. Not all the time. I don't want him to talk to me about the stuff that you talk to me about. Okay, D'Artagnan will be very... We'll, we'll keep it separate like we have, but I just... I feel like you want honesty and, and you know, it's I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to kind of give it to you because, you know, I... It's weird for I, for the while though. I did what I I didn't want to die, but I was ready to die. But now I don't want to die, and I'm not ready to die. So it feels different. I also don't want to die, and I'm not ready to die. Think of all the things that I haven't done. I know, Jamie. There's a I'm gonna have such a long list of stuff. Yep. I've done a lot of things. I want to do some of those things before I die. All right, that's great. What's what's one of the things you want to do? Ride a horse on a beach. And then you like say that and we start to see this like text appear and it just starts to like being like, and Jamie was riding on top of D'Artagnan as the sun was setting. And then like Terry's so confused because the library, <laughs> like the camera just like does this like side swipe. And as it does, like all of the like interior of the library just kind of turns into a beach. And then Terry's like blood covered, just like, like final girl outfit, like switches and she's now and this like, like cute little matching like shorts and like short sleeve button down like beach outfit. It's got like oranges on it. And then her machete turned into a Mai Tai and she's just sitting on the beach. And Jamie, you're just riding on D'Artagnan. Did you do this? He goes, no, you got a book in your hand. We're in a weird TV thing. I think you can just literally write your own. You found what we call a loophole, Jamie. I'm, I'm going to ride D'Artagnan. Uh, off into the sunset and start a horse rescue farm. So you just see, like, the camera once again, we just see a horse rescue farm sign up here as Jamie, like, rides through it. Uh, we cut over to uh, Ron. Uh, there is a giant skunk. <laughs> it's okay to be scared. Every horse is your friend. I don't remember I heard that song, but I, I, oh, it's just comforting to sing it. <laughs> yeah, so B-Ron is just flying around. <laughs> B-Ron, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Byron, Ron. Paul Byron. Oh, sorry, I mispronounced it. Uh, but yeah, B Ron, you're just like flying around trying to get away uh, from the skunk. Give me an act under pressure check. Oh no, skunks, my natural predator. That's a seven. So I think you're tr you're getting away. Oh, here I like this. This is fun for for everyone. Oh, uh, everyone, I love being one of them. So you do get away from the skunk, and you're you're all like excited as B Ron would be to not be eaten. I'm all a buzz with and excitement. You're saying like whatever like quippy B, B stuff to the skunk and then Not today, honey. <laughs> Fuck that's good. But what you aren't looking at is you do like you fall you hit into a spider web. There are no spiders, the natural enemy of bees. I thought there's a lot of it turns out bees got a lot of people coming after them. Sorry about it. like, shout bees out to have bees. It rough. Bees got it rough out there. They're doing a good job though. Uh yeah, yeah. So you're you're stuck in this Okay, your friend may not hear this, but your friend who is a bee might yeah. hear this. <laughs> we just I I sympathize. Uh but yeah, so you're stuck in a spider web, but you are way like it's far enough up the skunk can't get you well it's gone from bad to worse today i, I don't know i should have never left the hive oh boy and i i so i guess i'm gonna assess the situation look for it see if i can find the spider whose web this is or some you know like less sticky yeah, yeah, part yeah. of you it do, you just like you just look up you don't have to roll because you start to feel like the web vibrate as you do see the uh like a very a very large spider uh, hey are you also a guy who's stuck in here doing a tv thing for aliens and then, and then she, like it just like looks at you and goes no i'm a spider and i'm gonna eat you why, why, why would you do that? That's terrible. Well, you're you're a bee in my web. You know, you're just, you just you got caught here. You can't just fall into the natural habits to just feel natural. You got to consider whatever what the context to make your own decisions. G give me a manipulate check. That's, manipulate not, that's not, my, it's not my it's not my strong role, but I want to try it. Manipulate. Oh, that's an eight. 
What are you trying to like convince them of? What's your what do you what's your goal here? What's your angle? I'd like to not be eaten, Joel. What the fuck do you think I'm doing here? Ron is hoping from watching some films or after school specials that mm. the learning that friendship is the is the answer and that, that maybe that the spider could find some other not me thing to eat that would make everyone happy. What are you trying to convince it to eat that's not you? Uh I'm not sure, Joel. What else is I mean the skunk is a uh, Look at that skunk down there. He's it's way bigger. You need that. The skunk would eat me too. They they that's why I'm up I'm up here away from the skunk. Why don't we work together? We're getting a common enemy. Oh, okay. Oh, well. So what you're saying? Like if I let you go, you'll like lure more people in here for me to eat them? No, I said we would team up against the skunk. No, we can't. The skunk. I can't eat this. Look how big that is. I have a spider-sized mouth. Well, that wouldn't matter for spiders because they digest their food outside of their body as a series of toxins. Well, Ron doesn't have, have a, this. The spider they're, wouldn't they're, have enough toxins. This spider's talking to you with the mouth. It's also an anthropomorphic spider. Well, Ron doesn't say all that. <laughs> oh, I, that? <laughs> I had a stroke. Move on. I'm going to the hospital later. It smells like toast here in the spider room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, the spider's left side kind of goes a little limp. Right. <laughs> Hold your arms out in yeah. front of your body. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, all right, good, now I'm draw good. a clock, Charlotte. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so she's, try- she's just like, well, well, I mean... I don't want. I don't. We can't take down the skunk. Okay, but what if? But, but, but if you want, you know, you're. You, you can draw other things here. People like bees. They, they trust you. You know. No, you're right. People, I should be. I, you're right. I should abuse that trust and draw people to their deaths. That's a the way. I mean, that's, that's how you want. That's how you want to look at it. That's not. You know. This is. You know. But otherwise, I can just eat you. I mean, no. That yeah, you got a good point there. That's probably a better story as us teaming up and doing that. Right? Okay. Yeah. And then so she like kind of she like goes down. She used her her little her, her little spider legs, whatever they're whatever you want to call them. Uh, and then she, Leg. and she's able to like, you know, move you off of the sticky part as you know, cause I think they can do that. They can walk on Much it. Blood. Thank you. And she's like, yeah, so just go, you know, go out and go, you know, bring some stuff back here to get caught in my web or, or I'll just come and find you and kill you. No, that's, that's a compelling case to be made. Yeah. It's, you know, so it's a, you know, we made a little deal. So go, you know, buzz, buzz, buzz away. Uh, Ron goes to look for some Draculas to draw towards the spider web. We cut back over to Ron flies away and we follow his little bee body across the screen and it like transition wipes in. Marlon, you're now walking into a safe house with Jason Statham Cobb and Guy Rando. He's put back on uh, his orange hoodie. There is a lot of blood on it still. Uh, yeah, I, I go in. I, add, I, t- I have the money over my shoulder and I drop it into our giant pile of money and diamonds. Yeah, there's there's just so much money in diamonds. We're just so smart and cool and good that we get yeah. away with it every time. Guys just like walking around, just like looking through everything. Cobb's not knows him at all. He says like, well, another score. Well done here, Marlon. You know, I, I know what? You know what day it is? What, what day is it, Cobb? We made enough money to retire. Look at that. All it is is just like a pile of like money, jewels, and stolen things. And there's a line painted in the wall. <laughs> and it's just, just like when it gets... We're, we're, we're this close to our goal. When it gets stacked high enough. And so the last little bit of money you put just, just like puts it up at the top. I thought you were going to do a that's scale, so, but this is just, worse. That is that's pretty funny. That's so fucking funny. That is pretty funny. That's pretty good. That's, you got you to gotta get That's a good bit. I just, can, that's just a comedy. Come can to, you come swim to the in pun. it? Like a, like a... Scrooge McDuck? Scrooge McDuck, yeah. Yeah. Orland slept on it. Yeah, Done, done stuff definitely. on it already. But then Jason Statham Cobb's been like, well, then you're pushing down the pile if you get on oh, top sorry, of sorry. it. Cobb, I, I know we said we would retire, but everything is going so good. We could just keep, you know... But, Mar- you know, it's the thing about the game. You got to get out before someone gets you. And then Cobb pulls up a, pulls out a <gasps> gun point and he goes, I'm sorry, Marlon. Are you serious? I, what did you... I mean, listen, you know my thing. I love... I would have given you the money. Money. You don't have to. I, we could have kept I, doing jobs together. We work really well Marlon, together. Marlon. You told me I was your world, your you heart. You are my world, and that's the problem. I have to destroy everything that I love. And Marlon, you get shot in the stomach. Oh, can I do, do Reservoir Dogs and shoot him too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You each, th- you each take two harm as you're shot in the stomach. Oh, shit. I'm like. And then Guy looks over and goes, oh, man, that's crazy. We got like a lovers to enemies kind of thing going on. That's wild, man. Cobb, why? He goes, I, 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 Marlon, you know, I just, I was never comfortable with how much you loved me. I didn't love you that much, Cobb. No, I, was, I, 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 I have a very low tolerance for love, and I just—I was like kind of nice to you, I, I guess. I self sabotaged. You were nice to me, and I liked it. I just—I didn't know how to. 
<laughs> I'm like crawling over with a gun in my hand, yeah, blood everywhere. He, he's crawling over to you. So he's like, I'm, I'm trying so- to look around to gauge audience reaction again. I can't get anything though, right? Like, no, you're just yeah. But it's, I said, guy, it's, how's this? Is this good, guy? He's like, man, this is really tight, man. I don't like this. This is you're doing like maybe if y'all like go to kiss and right before the end you both pass out and like they'll do they'll probably do like a crane shot where it looks like a heart that you made as you you like you know crawled through each other man what if, what if we put our guns at each other's heads and then you hear a gunshot and the face is black well, that's crazy who... man i bet they would love but that. what if i die in real life i don't die in real life or this gunshot oh, you, you feels can real. die in real life here man oh shit i take up my gun i shoot cop yeah and the, the cop just dies <laughs> Jason Statham Cobb, bl- brains blown out, dead as shit. Marlon makes himself fake cry. And it's very convincing. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, like yeah. sobbing. You, you make yourself <laughs> fake cry. Oh and, Cobb, I'm cradling him. Yeah. Cobb, And Cobb. at that point, we get like a little three split screen cut. Marlon's in the bottom. And then like there's like the, the top, like left and right quadrant. We see Jamie and B Ron. Uh, you're like crying so much. Uh, Jamie, you're riding on the horse. You're in the horse rescue farm. What is one thing that you really want right now? Besides therapy, we can't do that. That's like <laughs> we don't a, have time for that. action, <laughs> like yeah, she rides in to the horse rescue, and all the horses circle around her and let her pet their noses and give her hugs and thank her for saving them. You walk in, you see all the horses. A lot of them look like bandaged up and they're hurt because it's a horse rescue farm. Uh, and you we could, were being held yeah, hostage. They're in, the, they're in the horse wars. Uh, and then, <laughs> then there's like a weird kind of like ripple glitch. And then you see all of them like look great. They're, it's, they're, they're living life. They're not hurt at all. And then as soon as they see you, they all just start coming up and like neighing, <laughs> having a good time, rubbing their faces on you. And then we pan over uh, and we, we focus on Ron. You're flying around as a bee. Uh, what would be beneficial to to be around right now? I'm stretching as an actor to try and think of what might benefit a bee. Can you have a tiny bee gun to shoot the spider? Like, I don't know. You could do an easier, like, anything. Uh, yeah, I've not restricted myself to any yeah. rules this no, arc, I, I, so I, I don't yeah. see why you would. I've, we barely rolled the dice, and I love that about it. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to say, ooh, I'm going to say garlic because I'm looking to round up vampires because I'm in a horror movie, and I want to feed them to the giant spider so I can make get my cover my deal so that I can you I know, love teach this. them. I, I love it. I love about- it. You find uh, garlic plants. Uh, and they just look like already shelled and peeled out garlic in trees, uh, like they're like little bears. Just the concept of garlic hanging from a bush. Yeah, yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So oh much work feeling it. Fucking yeah. God. What well, if, God, what if you walked? What if you walked into a forest and you just got hoss of garlic? I'd be so fucking ready to eat. I fucking love garlic. Oh my God, that's tight. What a good good job, whoever made garlic. I'm proud of you. Who made it? God? What's the opposite of vampires? Yeah. People. Regular, regular people. (laughs) Anyways, uh, but yeah. That's the one thing they did, right? (laughs) What you see, because you're thinking about, because you want vampires, you're thinking about it, and then, like, right in front of you appears a garlic tree. Like I said, little little cloves of garlic already peeled out. Oh, with this, I'll be able to drive the the vampires out of hiding and towards the spider. Uh, So now you're going to give me act under pressure and I'm going to give you a plus one because you got them good, good garlic cloves, them fresh ones. 11. So what happens is you're flying around and you get it and then you start to see a bunch of bats fly out and they are vampire bats. And at first you just kind of see the silhouettes of bats. Uh, and then once they kind of get in the sunlight, you just see that they're bats with Dracula ah. faces. And they got the little like Dracula suit on, but it's just in the core of the body. The wings are still bat-like. Uh, and they're like, I want the garlic. Bravo. I'm a bat. You're in sunlight and you don't want the garlic. What's wrong with this? This is a yeah. very, it's, well, I guess we'll, we're doing they opposite. They like it in this world. We're doing opposite day. So <laughs> they like it in this flies world. through the midday sun as a bee <laughs> towards the spider. Throwing the garlic on the garlic. Them like with the garlic they're, towards the spider they're, web. They're not like other vampires. We zoom back in on Marlin. Uh, oh my God. And you're like, God. what are you at? Well, you got like only. <laughs> yeah, you're just like covered in blood. Everything's going on. And then guy goes, oh man, I got to get out of here, man. I, the, the cop ones are hard for me. And then you see him just like hit a panel on the wall and he opens the door and walks out. 
And then uh, Do I remember on, the him? Other, on the other side of the door, you see a sign that says "Good Cobb, Bad Cobb." Ah, oh, good, 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 good. Uh, you do remember him in this time. He liked okay. you, yeah. And so he 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 dips out. But what you forget is where he walked out of, because he just for you he was there. Now he's. Gone. I'm just trying to finish the story. And all so. these cops like come in and they're surrounding you, and they all got their gun drawn, and they're like, "Well, we finally found you, the famous." 30 bank rappers, and I see you got 30 banks worth of loot right here to tie you to the crimes. I was framed. But you, you're literally- Look, I got shot. But he, you, I, you bet you guys shot each other. He shot me. Now we're going- no. And then I shot him twice. You, you just told- I'm a cop. You just told me. He shot me. I shot him in self-defense. And then you see, like, pushed through, you see a very- He looks way large than last time we saw. A very large, just like- too stressed out, so he's got like reddish skin and bulging veins. Josh Brolin walks in. Officer Pickfucker. Officer Pickfucker. And he's like, we've been trying to track this one down for years here. This is the Taurus bank robber, Roger Edgar, right here. I've been looking for him for years, ever since he blew up a boy in Dalton, Georgia. No, that's the wrong city in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Also, I never he, blew up a boy. That's you weird. You blew up a boy. Look at this boy. And it's just an exp it's just like blood and guts. <laughs> oh. He goes, yeah, anyways, you, you can see uh, we're taking you downtown. Does Marlon think if he fights back, he'll die? Like, trying to gauge, like, I mean, you were, like, I don't. You're not a hundred. Guy told you that people can die here, yeah. and then you told them that you just want to help your friends out. And so, you, I mean, you, okay. don't, you don't know. If maybe you can. Because I, my instinct is to say you'll never take me alive and start firing. That seems stupid, though. I, if, if, I don't want to do that. I, I, uh, I, look, I look at him, and I say, wait, this is... This is only a third of the loot. You let me, I'll get you in on it. I'll get you all in on it. You let me go. You're trying to buy 30 cops right now? This is like millions and millions because of dollars. Because it will work. We yeah. would no. love that. Uh, I would also, I need medical attention. Okay, well, you know what? God damn it. I'm an EMT Ro and available for bribes yeah, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it, Roger <laughs> Edgar. You, That's you, me, Roger Edgar. You That's definitely my again. name. You got me again. Here you go. Uh, and like they all the cops just start like, you know, they got their bribe bags ready uh, <laughs> And they're just like shoveling I'm like bleeding. in Yeah, shoveling it in and like we get this like shot where it's just like Cobb is in the foreground His his bl blood is just like slowly trickling down. I love them too much, yeah, which was filled, barely yeah, at all <laughs> Barely too much for him uh, And it's just kind of like and like it's going over uh, and it's hitting it's hitting like the money and then Marlin Behind this like little, behind the stack of money that you see the cops, you see this like slit in the wall, like slowly open up. It's about like a palm size like hole. And you see the face of, it's like an older man, like 30, short brown hair. He's got some like silver, you know, flex in his hair here and there. Uh, and you see him like look at you, hold his finger up and like does the, like the shh noise and then like waves to you to come over. What noise is that? Just, I just did it. Shh. It's, we all know what it is, Paul. I, I kind of glanced at the cops. They're distracted they by the money. Notice. They don't notice. They're just like- how, Can I walk over? How hurt am I? Uh, an EMT came in and I'm like good. patched you up a it's little a movie. bit. You're, you're still hurt. You feel like they yeah, patch you up and you can walk, but five you, harm. you feel awful. Okay. You definitely feel bad. I walk uh, over. Yeah, no, you, I don't say a word. Yeah, you walk over. They're not saying anything. They're counting all the money. Uh, well, like you overhear like two of the cops being like, "This is my third bribe this week," and another one just being like, "I shot a homeless man because I thought it was fun." A cab forever, uh, officer pick fucker and fuck you. But you do go over uh, and now give me an act under pressure check because you're like he you like he, you see like the outline. I'm of, not affected by the crack anymore, right? Nah, you, the crack <laughs> the crack is you've calmed down. If you want to smoke some crack though, you no, can. No, I want my cool and charm. That's the thing. That's Those always, are my good stats. It's always an option in this show. You can take a little crack break. Seven. Do you want to be sneaky and? Have have something bad happen later or do you want to get out and get noticed a little bit that's a hard choice but something bad happened to me later yeah 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 marlon was trying to go along with it so it's not even that he was trying to get out but is there no actual way out no i mean there is a door that you can go out of this like the hollow room you're you are in that like because the guy like showed it to you okay i mean i'll take the consequences now as shannon 
get it out of the way. You go to like open the door and like the lights start to like glitch a little bit and you see like the hollow room go back and you see the gray. He goes, you signed the cut, you can't. You're, you're, you're supposed to entertain. Okay, I thought I did a good job. Didn't I do a good but fucking yeah, job? The story isn't done yet. It's not done. I you're trying to leave. You were told you, you got to stay in the okay, room. Okay, okay, okay. I look around for the guy. The door is open. You can see him. And then he like looks at you. Say he said no, still holding his finger up. And he does like, he's like, like telling you to like go through the door. But then this other, the gray is like on there. He's like, listen, I mean, we're, your contract's going to be void. And then your friends are here under your guy. So we're going to have to eject them. I'm looking at the guy and I'm like, I make this scared face. Like, I don't want to get ejected. I'm so not what do you, do yeah, it. and he's still doing, what are you doing? You got to make a choice. I, I go back. I like, I'm not going to get everybody ejected. I don't know who this guy is. I'm not gonna listen to him. I'm too scared. Yeah, you you close the door. Yeah. Uh, uh, Marlon is a coward. You close the door, and Officer Pickfucker comes up to you. And he goes, "All right, well, we got another little job we need to do to to make this right here, because you know we can we can forgive the bank robbing with all the money, but you still got a murder on your hands that you just did." So I like lift up my shirt to see so he can see the big bullet wound. I was like, "He shot me first. He, he goes, hey, uh, listen, you just can, so you know, we know what he, you know what we know what matters. What I put in my report. All right. So, anyways, we got another job for you. Then, then we'll be square. Okay, we'll be square. Yeah, sure. You can trust me, an officer of the law. One thing about extortion and blackmail is you definitely can trust. The yeah, you can. If someone's blackmailing you, the they, one time. they're cool. They're doing. They. they oh, Marlon's just planning on how to kill him. So that's what's go actually we, going through Marlon's head. We, we cut back over to Jamie. All the horses were like, they were looking fun. They were like happy. And then that same kind of like wave glitch happens. Uh, and then the horses go back to uh, in pain. Like they're just bandaged up. And now instead of talking about how much they love you, they're talking about the horrors of the horse wars. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry for everything you've been through. Do you know what it's like to see 45 dead horses in front of you? That's a lot of horses. No. I choked 14 horses to death with my bare hooves. I have so many questions. Is it about horse death? Because I'm an expert because I killed, I killed so many horses. You know, maybe we should add some mental health to the horse therapy. They said it's not in the budget. Why did they use trench warfare? We're all so much taller than trenches. But I <laughs> have an endless budget. Yeah, 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 yeah. You you do write that in your thing, uh, and then you, you start to see some horse therapists come out. Are they people that are therapists for horse, or are they horses that are therapists? Here's the thing: it's a mixture. I'll say it's both. Yeah, it's both. Uh, and then and one centaur psychiatrist. And then who Ron, we, we cut over obviously. to you're like holding the garlic. All the vampire bats, they love it. Uh, they want the garlic in this world. It's kooky. Uh, and then uh, a weird ripple happens, and then the bats or the vampires are like, Where's the garlic? I hate you now. I will bite you. And so now, uh, what has happened is you have, you were flying them back to the spider. And so now you literally, you're stuck between the Draculas <laughs> and, and the spider web, and you no longer have garlic. Uh, and now the spy, the the uh, Dracula, the Dracula bats are mad at you, and then the spider uh, is just like I can't. These are too big. I can't. I, they, you know what? I'm just gonna have to kill you. And so she's like getting wet, no, ready. No, but like it's a spider that could eat me. A huge guy, a huge bee. She's like, the same really size like, as you. Right, but so, so they're like the Dracula size, like a me sick people size. No, no, no. Guys. It's the same. Everything, to, everything right now is proportionate to what they are to bees. Even so, Ron is a six foot. Be, but this spider is proportionate to what a spider would be to a normal bee. So they're, but the vampires that are proportionate to what bats would be to a normal bee, which is very larger. <laughs> very larger. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, Ron is gonna uh, fly straight at the spider and mm. hope to, you know, just duck out of the way yeah, at the yeah. last minute and like be have them get a face. Being known have for how. Air, aerodynamic and good at flying they are. Also, we already said that Ron's like kind of a more of a bumblebee. He's kind of stacked. He's more cute. Uh, give me act under pressure. I'm going to give you a minus two. Why Shout is it out to stacked bumblebees. Stacked bumblebees. 
Wow, well that's low. So yeah, that's a six. So Ron, you like you're you're like you you're determined. The bee inside of you is ready to do it. You go to like do this like twist, try to fly through, and you're like, I got it, I got it, and you sh- the, I your, got it, I got your it. your head just gets through. You can see the other side, and then you start oh, no, flying through. Bee and then we just get this wide shot of like the spider web stretching out because you're too big to go through the webbing. If only I weren't so stacked. <laughs> <laughs> and then like you just it like the spider web like stretches out and then like flings back and like comically like you know like boing, 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 boing. Yeah, good sound effect on that uh, for sure. It goes hope. goes back in there and then uh you are now stuck and what has happened, Ron, you get bit in, in your little bee booty uh by by a Dracula bat. Uh in this <laughs> That's a good Allison Dracula has drawn bat. a beautiful Dracula bat. Uh, a little waistcoat and everything. Look at it go. But yeah, you get bit by a Dracula bat, uh, and I need you to give me a Hold weird... On, no, there's something specific on the rule sheet, I think, for this situation. Yeah. Uh, give me... Give you me get your a... stack BS bit by <laughs> Dracula bat. Give Roll me... plus cool? Give me, right. a, give me a weird check. Does your ass being stacked make it hurt more or less? Because it's a bigger target, but it's also more cushion. Those are more cushions than her list. Let's find out. See what the dice say. Ten. You, like, get bit by this Dracula bat, <laughs> and then it, like, looks weird at you, and it goes, Why did you not turn into a Dracula bat like me? Well, I'm already kind of doing a bee thing. Oh, okay. What happened to your voice? I'm already doing kind of a bee thing. I used to be something, so I think it, I'm not a, I'm, you know, it's, I'm already doing, oh, so I'm well, already something. Okay, well, I'll just do this instead, and the spider's like coming to kill you, and this bi- this Dracula bat just like bites the head off of the spider. Oh, thanks. He's like, yeah, anyways, you know, I, I was mad that you didn't have garlic, but, you know, I guess. Yeah, no, I, I'm sorry. I just, I guess. It, but I, I can't, you don't turn, you know, I guess. Wish I could help you. Good job being stacked. Thanks. All right, goodbye. Never skip leg day. Yeah, and they just fly away, and you're just you're just kind of stuck in this web. Ron just sort of sits there, hanging, a little spring in yeah. the breeze. We pull further back. Yeah, Ron yeah, just yeah. Keeps... Just we 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 go back. Uh, we cut over back to Jamie. The horse therapists are there. They're like talking to people. Uh, and Dodo's like, all right, so uh, the store's kind of got to move. You can't just do the fun things. You gotta have you, you gotta have stakes. You gotta have next things. So you know, we gotta get out of this thing together. You know, we gotta we gotta shake it up. Something's gotta happen. Okay, one horse gets like really sick and they almost die, but they don't. And then, uh, and then we are able to save them with our endless budget. And as you're like you're describing this kind of like lackluster thing, you start to see like the horse rescue farm like kind of just looks shitty. Like the budget is like active, like there is just like less things around. It's not as well made like horse stables. Okay, okay, okay. So we saved the one horse, but then one night uh, outside of the stable, we find a unicorn. And we have to protect it from evil scientists who want to do experiments on it. I want to grind up the horn and use it for cocaine. They. Jamie, that's the, that's some great action. Look outside. And you just see there's a bunch of angry scientists. They got a bunch <laughs> of different like guns and stuff. They got walkie talkies yeah, for ET. The yeah, guns were edited. And, and unicorn that, cocaine. Yeah, unicorn they, cocaine. They love unicorn cocaine. And you start to see all the horses. They've you know they had their 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 montages where they did therapy good. Uh, and they're starting to like put on all their suits and everything <laughs> there for horse war. And uh, Jamie, you you now look like you got like the brave heart kind of like face face paint on. You're ready for to fight these scientists to save the the unicorn. I'm gonna come out of the barn and address the scientists and give an impassioned speech. Give me a manipulate someone check. I'll give you a plus one. I rolled a four. So Jamie, you go out and you're like you give give me the give me some of the give me the taste of the speech. We can all agree that science is important Yay! for the betterment of all creatures. Yay! However, not at the sacrifice of the well-being of the majestic unicorn that has appeared on my property. We, we can learn from him without harming him through observation, the true foundation of natural sciences. Now, if you want to lay one hand on this unicorn, you'll have to go through me and all of my horse war veterans. 
Jamie, a laser beam just goes through your through your shoulder and you just kind of like fall back. Unicorns ah! run away! So Jamie, you, you did get shot. You're gonna take two harm. It was the other shoulder that, that you didn't get stabbed with a knife. As you fall back and then you wake up, you don't really know how long it's been. A bloody horse battlefield, but they did win. More dead scientists and the, the unicorn uh, has been saved and you did just kind of get knocked out at the beginning of the battle and then woke up at the end of it. So then is it over? And there was like, uh, Jamie, that's, that, 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 I mean, that's that was kind of good, but uh, you know, it's not over yet. You got to go talk to the unicorn. You got to. Oh, oh. Okay. We need like catharsis. We need we need big big things. Is that a coda? Okay. So is the unicorn okay? Yeah, the unicorns are okay. They got hurt a little bit. They're very majestic. They have like this glow about them. Uh, they're using their tears. We all know about unicorn tears. They have a finite amount of tears, uh, but they are using them to help heal some of the horses. Not enough unicorn magic to make them alive again, but ones that are hurt, they can heal up. We know unicorn lord don't fucking, we, we don't have to talk about it. This unicorn is just crying on people, horses. I'm so sorry, unicorn. That's your name. It's a unicorn. Yes. Mm. Anyways, it's lovely to have, have had you all uh, help me hide out. So, uh, you know, uh, truth be told, uh, I didn't think you would do it. Why? Uh, you know, honestly, I, I did tell them that unicorn cocaine's a thing. And I kept telling them I would give it to them. And, uh, you know, it's not. I guess you could ride up my horn if you wanted to. Please don't. Uh, but uh, as unicorn, uh, you know, I... Oh, oh, a couple of people, a couple of things. So it's nice to see that you helped me out. I'm sorry that we weren't better. I wish we had had fewer casualties. No, no, it's okay. You know, you helped me. Uh, you know, unicorns are just royal horses, so it's pretty much their, you know, this is what they wanted to do with their lives. Where do we go from here, unicorn? Well, you know, I could grant you a nice ship. Uh, you could come back to my unicorn city and, and live there and just, you know, don't tell anyone that, you know, I did lie to the scientists. Mm -hmm. Can we all go to the unicorn city, including our horse friends? We don't allow horses at the unicorn city. Mm -hmm. You know, to be untoward, they don't have horns. Or but, horns. but they sacrificed their life to protect and you. And what did I do? So that's a lot of a horse. I think you should go back to unicorn city without me. And, and did you, we're not going to mention anything to our Jamie? You know, a little, you know, here you go. Yeah, give me a little, little, you know, for you. Your troubles. No, I don't. Okay, well, just as long as we got a little secret here, because Jay and I will stab you with this horn. <laughs> okay, All don't right. do that, please. Thank you. Anyways, I'm going to get a couple of these horses to drive me back home. I don't like walking. <laughs> Jamie turns away and starts talking to the injured horses. So it goes like sepia tone. Jamie, you're just spending all this time helping all these horses. We're getting montages where they're learning to like walk again and everything. And we were learning that the the reason we won was because of the power of friendship. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then uh, you you like see as like uh, the this kind of like goes on, and then you do see. Uh, at the very end of it, when all the horses, you do see this like door open. You know, it looks kind of black and dark inside of there, but you do see like a doorway kind of open. It does not seem like it's part of the horse rescue place. Dodo. Yeah, what's going on? I think I'm gonna go through this door. That's tight. Hey, where'd Terry go? She at the library still. <laughs> I mean, we were with her, but I don't smell her anymore. Oh no. I mean, yeah, I guess go through the door though. You know, she's she's back. But you know, I think go through the door. Be great. Jamie's first gonna be like. Terry? You, you're not here. You don't hear a call out. I am going to go through the door. Yeah, you go through the door and the camera follows in. And as it like hits like the darkness of like the, the, the other side of the door, it pushes through. And then we see Marlon, you're back at your apartment. It's this like real swanky loft, like super high ceilings, like penthouse, giant windows. The city looks great that you're in. There is just, just every everything. Is there are a lot of uh, attractive men in their twenties lounging on the couch. Oh, I say, yeah. shoo, shoo, yeah, never, shoo, not shoo, no, shoo, not shoo. no. And they all just kind of like like float away almost. Like yeah, you know, they just, like ghosts. Yeah, they're, well, no, 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 they're, just, they're just they're, shoo. You get out of here. They all get raptured. They're all just these, no. They're just so they're just so <laughs> tiny, elegant, and beautiful. I know. Yeah, unfinished business. Almost, Do it, it almost, somewhere else. It almost feels like you know. Some of them are big. Like, yeah, a, little, yeah, yeah. like a little sprite. Yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you 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 send away your bears and twinks. Yeah, <laughs> I have a collection. 
Not now, not now. You have like this envelope uh, from Officer Pigfucker. I open it. You open it up uh, and then- Can the, he read? His, right. his, Good his name, it says Officer Pigfucker, don't tell, and it's all misspelled and backwards. <laughs> okay. Ossifer Pitsopper. <laughs> 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 but yeah, you see that. You open it up, you see a picture of the mayor. Uh, he looks exactly like Morgan Freeman. Okay. What else does it say? There's a gun inside. Okay. And then there's a note that where it's it's like a backwards K, a one, two hockey sticks. Like drawn uh, out. Yeah, like yeah, full. yeah, yeah. And and then a really bad stick figure drawing of the of the mayor. I think why did he just say kill the mayor to me? But I I have like a fireplace in my beautiful loft apartment and I burn all the evidence and yeah, yeah, yeah. the gun. You throw the gun. Oh, oh no 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 no! <laughs> I burn my hand a little bit. Get the tongs. You throw it in there uh, as you like. I have a, gla- a whiskey glass. Yeah, you're watching dramatically it dramatically. The flames reflect into the glasses. I'm thick. You're wa- you're watching pensive. it. You're watching it burn and then you see back in uh and like kind of a back room there's like a little flicker of a light i go check it out so you like walk- i have the gun in one hand and the whiskey in the other i'm like james bond now i don't know you, you- no no this is all yeah. suit assassin <laughs> vibes yeah. yeah this is a- jamie's been pretending she's james bond many times already in the show do, do, you gotta do, do what you gotta do you start to like walk back to the bathroom before you go and open the door you see a similar like little slot open up you do see like the same face before and it's a guy just shaking his head no like don't go in he's just shaking his head no i like shrug i'm like what do you want me to do like what and he's just, he's just shaking his head no he, he's like you can see he's trying to say something but you can't hear him like do i I, do I, I look around as in like do I am I in danger I like whip around hold the, the gun up you don't see anyone else in there I whip back around and then the, sl- the slots close you don't see him anymore I like kind of case my own apartment to see if there's any anything weird so you're casing your own apartment and there is definitely something a little weird uh, because you go and like you do open the door uh, and you you do just see there is a demon with like kind of a goatee ah! beard uh, sitting on the toilet. He goes, what are you doing? Not, you're not supposed to be in the booth. Get out. The booth? Hold on. Who are you? I'm, don't fucking, listen, I'm, don't you, I thought there was an alien thing. Are you a demon? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, yeah, but you don't, you're supposed not supposed to, to be you? in the booth. What? This is my bathroom of my apartment no, in the it's movie. Not. And then you look around, and it uh, it looks like it's a very different style. It, lo- it looks kind of like a bathroom that would be in like kind of like a skybox. But this does, because look- you've, you've met demons before. It's for I like sure. shut the door behind me. I'm like, hey, what's going it's like, on? Jesus Christ, you're not supposed to be. Oh, God damn it. I don't know how I got here. I don't know why ah, I'm dealing with the said, aliens. Man said you're a little shit. What did I do? All I did was come in and talk to you. What did, did you well, I'm just saying you're not supposed to be back in the booth here. Can you come out and talk to me outside then? No, I'm taking... I'm, I'm, Why were you talking to Mammon about me? What did, well, man, we came here to watch you. Mammon told us to be... To, he did was, he send me here? I mean, I guess so. Did he sign us up? Well, I don't... I'm a doctor. To I'm be kinda, put on display in front of a bunch of fucking aliens? You're asking a lot of questions here. I'm trying to... I'm not... I'm just kind of here to hang out. What's your name? Belphegor. Some people might be out there, might call me the sloth demon, you know. I'm just kind of, just kind of like, you know, chilling out and kind of giving the people little ideas here and there. But, you know, we're just taking a little break. You're interesting to watch. I'm going to be honest, uh, the, the B1, he does, he's not really doing too much, so well, he's probably going to get, he's probably going to get canceled. Uh, and then the horse girl, she's interesting, and I can't wait to see what they put her in next. Can you, can you so, you, well, I'm so mad. Marlon is like shaking. He's like so upset. He's having trouble just like even talking and articulate how he's feeling. So you'd so I'm not only being watched by aliens that have abducted me and put me and my friends on display, but Mammon, it's like a fucking circus. My life is just a perpetual circus for him, I guess. That's just how it is. I'm like pacing. Well, no, he said he was talking about me to uh, distract y'all from the van. Oh fuck! Well, how? Is, yeah, it's a d- distraction to get this is like fucking cheating. I didn't ask, you're asking a lot of questions here. Listen, if where you, is he? I mean, he's he's back in the book. You can't go in there. That's not like physically can't, or I'm not supposed to. Well, they sealed me in here because I'm I'm constantly taking the shit as you can. You oh yes. Yeah, right <laughs> pretty. The smell is. Um, I was trying yeah, to fly I, I, I'm used yeah. to it. But you should be in here though, because like I did already hit the panic button because okay. we were told that if one of, if one of the but you know, it's gonna be, uh, it'll be fun, you know, your friends, I just, I can't wait to just keep seeing what, what we put you into, you know. Oh, so it's perpetual? We're not gonna get out? Well, yeah, 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 it's for sure perpetual. Cool. What, what did you think? You like, uh, Belfico, you like making deals? We should talk later. Ah, I'm not really kind of a deal man, but I can give you a couple ideas that might, you know, help you what? later. But what? yeah, 
I don't know, like, you ever thought about, like, you know, self-topping hot dog? Like, they just have ketchup in there already, and then you kind of put it on there. Oscar Mayer makes a cheese dog already. That has cheese inside of it. What if you made a better one? Thanks, Belfair. I'll I make you, how about that? I give you, I give you a nice little seed of an idea, but you just gotta, just let me have a little spot in your brain. No, just bye, a tiny, bye, just here. bye. And he, he gives no. you a seed, he goes, no, you mm, drop that, it, no, nope, no, nope. oh, oh, I don't like, want it. it. And like, I don't he just, want it. he, every time you drop one, he's pulling little, out another one. This little guy one. hand, yeah. take it. Uh, yeah, the little Look, guy uh, hand does, fucked up little guy hand does take it. He's I don't want it. like your hand there. That's uh, it's interesting. I like it's got good vibes. But yeah, if you just want to eat this seed and just I'll live inside you, but I'll give you a nice little idea. Wait, break the deal with Mammon? It wouldn't, right? No, I'm not gonna do it. No, but I, I, that's a good He's idea. He's gonna kill me in five months. Ooh, I'll right, well, give me that seed back then. Yeah, take it. Bye. Yeah, I'm that's... trying to leave. You turn and leave, and then you walk back out, and then you just the saying in front of you is a gray, and he's just shaking his head. He goes, "What did I just tell you?" I was trying to use the bathroom. What did I was looking at my apartment. Just did a story. That I'm, I'm, I'm killing the mayor for the cop, right? I'm you're not killing the there, story. but you keep leaving the. They can see when you're not on. When you leave the hollow deck, they can see. We Why are there so many unlocked doors? I'm not a master. I'm that's fucking, actually a pretty good question. We didn't There's so many door. unlocked door doors. Not I didn't. You've been watching me the entire time. I didn't fucking unlock you it. Know you did I don't know what's a door up. or not. I'm trying to do exciting shit. I don't know what's real or you not. How keep, is it my fault? You, it's not my fault. Like the gray is talking to you, and then he just kind of like. He's like shakes and falls over and standing behind him is Guy Rando. He's like, oh, me and Foreal. Yeah, man, you should, um, they're going to be mad at you, man. The fucking demon just told me this is perpetual. I thought I'd have a way out. Oh, and man, don't. Where, where's the that? other guy? Do you know who's, who's the creepy guy who keeps looking at me through slits? Do you know who that is? I don't know, man. Here's the thing. I kind of, I've been here for a while, man. You know, I just kind of, I got this thing where like, hold on, check this out. And then you say it in front of you, Marlon. This is guy you've never seen before. He's got kind of like wavy brown brown hair and orange ah. hoodie and it goes hey man i'm you're marlin you're freaked out because you just saw a demon in there uh anyways i'm proving to you i can just make people like totally like forget about me man so like i just been chill you know they, i got abducted here a long time ago and like you know it's been wild the cop ones they can kind of see me pretty good but you know these grays if you hit them back in this and there is just like there's just like this one little you know you can vulcan neck pinch them that's awesome. what he's trying thank to you, thank you, thank he's you. like man but yeah uh they yeah, you're kind of pissing them off. They're probably going to eject you, man, but I like you. Do you want to get out of here together? We'll figure it out. There was another, there's a creepy guy uh, here. No, trying I mean, to help I don't me. need to get out of here. She's like, I can like, there's a bunch of food in here, man. And it's like pretty thin. I can like watch the stories. And if I get caught, I'm just like, oh, I'm gone, man. And it's just like, but yeah, I just, I don't want to see your storyline end, man. You're the best Thank one. You. I th Thank you. Your friend Ron's probably going to get canceled soon, though. I got to help Ron. I got to find that weird guy who's trying to talk to me. I didn't think, I didn't, Marlon is like. He just like pauses and he just like kicks something. I don't know what it is. He probably hurts his foot. He's like so mad. If there's like he just if there's nothing there, he just kicks the wall like as hard as he can. Yeah, you just kick the wall like this panel like sh juts out, uh, and then you see it's just kind of like you know fake wall. You see the wall like whip open and then inside falling out of it this man he's like kind of heavy set looks like layers throw his short brown hair with like some like greg hey what's up who are you what's going on he's like oh man i've been trying to i sorry i i couldn't it's, it's hard to talk in the holodeck okay listen i've been trying to get a hold of you i'm martin douglas i'm an exorcist i'm a demon hunter okay. i i tracked listen there's a there's there's never been a group of demons this especially some heavy hitters uh and i tracked them down here and uh they they seem to want you what do you mean want? They're here to watch you kind of get like tortured. Yeah, they love it. They can't get enough of it. Yeah, they, they love it. Anyway, my entire uh, existence I is a to joke to a bunch of supernatural cool, 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 and extraterrestrial cool. beings that won't leave me the fuck alone. I'm just yes. Do you like, want to kill Mammon? Yeah, I want to kill Mammon. I can help you kill Mammon. Yeah, I want to. Hold on, I look at you're not Mammon. No, I'm not Mammon. No, and then he goes. I used. I used to. I used to. Well. I did some stuff with the Catholic Church. They're just shitty still. I, but, uh, you know, they got a lot. They do know a lot about the supernatural, paranormal. But, I mean, Mammon's watching us right now. He can hear us. No, right? no, 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 no. Right now, right now, this room, because the gray came in. They, they we're, we're running on commercial right now. Okay, so okay, once okay, that okay. guy yeah, gets yeah. back yeah. up. But, yeah, Mammon's going to kill me in five months. Okay. But if we, if we fuck up, we're both fucked for eternity. You understand that, right? Yeah. Okay. I killed, I, I, I hunt 
demons and like exercise like malicious spirits i'm always on the edge of death but i'm saying i can help you out but we gotta we gotta get out of here before that guy wakes up and guys like oh man i wouldn't suggest doing that they get like pretty mad when you like sneak around like i can do it because they forget here watch this and then he snaps his finger and then marlon in front of you see this guy you've never seen before he's wearing like this orange ah! hoodie like wavy brown hair he goes hey man i'm just trying to tell you like don't do it. it's a bad idea marlon like Who are that, you? Oh, man, what's going on, man? My name's Guy Randall. What's up, man? This is wild. But yeah, this dude is like a demon hunter. And then Martin looks up and goes, how the fuck did you know? They goes, yeah, man, he's trying to get you to, like, I guess you made a deal with a dude named Mammon who's, like, pretty bad. He wants you to kill him, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, anyway, so you can't make people forget you. That's what I'm trying to show you. Can you teach us how? Nah, man, but I can do this. And he stabs his finger, and he just appears, but now he's on the other side of the room. Man, I just forgot, made you forget that I was standing there and walked over here. You get it? It's just a thing that I can do, man. It's pretty tight. But, like, you should just kind of go with the story. They'll give you more stuff, man. But I don't want to be here. I can't be here forever. I'll just, in five months, Mammon will kill me. I have a five-month. He's, like, clapping his hands. He's like, I have a five-month time limit uh, man, that, that I'm sounds... working with in in real life. Oh, wait, so Mammon puts you here. Maybe he's just trying to wait wait till you run out the clock, man. That's crazy. That's pretty diabolical. It's like yeah, it's, it's like he's a demon. That you man, you got yeah, you gotta be chill, man. <laughs> My life is a fucking waking nightmare. And you're telling me to be chill. Man, yeah, you just gotta roll with it, man. You know, sometimes if I roll with it, I'll be dead in five months. Well, I, it turns out if it sounds like if you don't roll with it, you're gonna be dead in five months, man. I don't I didn't make your past decisions. What I happens just, if Ron's show gets canceled? Does that kill him? My B oh, friend. Yeah, man, he's probably gonna get ejected if you get canceled, man. I can't, uh, what if I go on his show? I don't know, man. Ratings That's, boost crossover. I mean, that might be good, man. What do you but want? Martin looks Martin. and goes, Martin's like, you can't listen, I, I understand you got I, we can't, you can't be in the, we got to get out of here. If you want to take a shot at Mammon, you got to go with me right now. And the guy's like, I mean, yeah, I mean, I can like show you how to get to your friend's shows and like crossovers are real big. I mean, actually, I got a pretty cool idea that I think they would like. So if you want, but like, that's if you want to be like, you know, top of the chart kind of thing, man, they give you pretty cool stuff, man. I mean, is it being presented? He has to choose between saving Ron and killing Mammon. Yeah. He's going to kill Mammon. Ba, ba, ba. I gotta be in character. Hey, no, uh, I, I'm not. I would never yeah. expect it. Uh, Guy, can you help Ron? Ah, oh, man, that's not really my bag. I was gonna like, if you know, but if you're leaving, I'm just gonna. I guess I'll go check out another show. So, anyways, it was nice meeting you, man. You know, have fun killing killing your boss. You know, he's not my boss. It sounds like he is, man. He's, he's got a lot. You know, he's living upstairs rent free, <laughs> and then he's just kind of gone. Like you don't remember him leaving. And, but I remember seeing him. Yeah. Okay. And Martin's like, all right, come on. You got to fo follow me. Can, can we, can we, can we, I, fuck my friend. I don't want my fucking friend to die either, but I gotta, he's gonna, Mammon's gonna kill him for the van anyway. And he's just like talking to himself, rationalizing yeah. it, trying to like, you know. We cut over to Jamie. You walk through this doorway uh, and then you find yourself in a coffee shop. Uh, and, and there is a lot of, uh, attractive people but then there's five very attractive people uh, and they all look at you at once they go Jamie hi where you been so long come on come on in man we, we, have, we, have, we have some coffee for you I know you love coffee so how's everything been going you know did you get the apartment no I'm still looking Done. We're, uh, big city. I know it's your first day in the big city, Crazy. but don't worry. Us, your five friends from college, are all here to support you. Oh, buzz, buzz. What? That's I went at college. Dot, Jamie, dot. Jamie, Jamie, you went to Harvard. Oh wow. Remember you went the, you went there on a cello scholarship, and you loved to play the cello, but you you were you came from a small town, and the only place yeah. you can meet your cello dreams is here in the big city. The big city yeah uh, the big listens. apple yeah, it's the big city you know it's got a lot of names oh, okay but you gotta but you know that's we have there's the best cello hall here and that's what you your end goal is right to move here and become a, a cello is per full time best cello <laughs> That's the name of the show. Oh, Joel had another stroke. Best, best cello is the name of the show that we're on. Jamie? Uh, well, I, I did find an apartment, but it's too big. We'd all have to live there together. Jamie, I, uh, weren't we supposed to get out of here? I think we had to keep it going. J J Jamie, this is a different show. Right. I'm in the city now. Okay, yeah. I'm a city girl. Jamie, Jamie, um... 
Here's the thing about liars. I went to Harvard. Jamie, liars are real good at pointing out other liars. Okay. Okay, here's here's another out. You know why I don't like Marlon? Why? I get that he's bullshitting you all the time, and he's not telling the full truth. And I can't, you know, I, Ron's easy to read, Ron, and then he's not that's that bad of a guy. Interesting coming from you. Okay, and I know that's what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not, I'm saying I can, I'm a bad person, and we can see other bad people. What we're in right now, we're being lied to, Jamie. But... We're in a whole different thing. They said you just have to get it. And that yeah. was compelling stuff back there. You taught seven horses how to walk again. Yeah. I say On their unicorn. hind legs. That unicorn really didn't deserve it, though. You should, I, honestly, you, you should be killing more people, but I, I, that's just a personal opinion. I know you don't want to do that. But what no. I'm saying here, Jamie, I don't think everything that Ron told us was above board. I'm not saying that Ron lied to us. I think Ron was lied to. So how do we get out? Yeah, sorry. Here, here, here. <sighs> I have to get a job in the city? You don't have to get a job in the city, Jamie. Okay. But as you say that, you're just at a desk. And you're Ooh. just like, yeah, like, Ooh. yeah. Jamie, get those reports on my desk by tomorrow morning or you're fired. Yes, sir. That's right. I'm an older actor from an earlier sitcom, but you, most kids don't remember me. Goodbye. Haha, <laughs> good one, boss. It's like, see, you, we're just kind of jumping around here, Jamie. They're, they're, they're never going to let us go. So what do we do? All right, here's the thing. Um, I got enough in me where where, where we can... I, it seems like the, the, I think I can cut through the walls and we can kind of run. Okay. But uh, uh, here's the thing. We got. I think we need to find the other ones. I can... Uh, there's. There are other my people. I'm, yeah, yeah. There. I can smell other people on this on this ship. Wait, my friends hey, from Jamie, college? Hey, Jamie, it's me, your offbeat coworker. Hey. How's it going? Who are you talking to? Hey, pal. Just my mom on the phone. Oh, I know how that is. All right, bye. Jamie, these aren't these aren't real people. She's we're so talking. worried no one's about me. I can the city. No one is real here. I'm real. Why have you been Why have you been constantly followed by twelve birds at all times everywhere you are? What? There's always birds around. There's birds a lot of places. There's. It's the same twelve. You're birds. a bird. I. Jamie, I'm telling you right now. I'm always followed by Jamie, one bird. Li- Jamie, we're being lied to. This is this. We're, we need to get out of here. Okay, so you think we need to find. My friends from Dalton College, not my friends from Harvard. You didn't go to Harvard, Jamie. But I could have. I, yeah, I'm sh- I, Jamie, I'm sure you could have. I, I'm going to be honest. Uh, you didn't come through a super affluent family, and it's really hard to get in. It's a lot. It's a, it's a lot more of who you know. There's nothing against you, Jamie. I can. You're really smart. I can feel it in here. I got, I'm, I'm in your brain, I, I kind of. But I'm telling you right now, we're being lied to. Wait, 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 wait. Can I play the cello? <laughs> You're now just in this auditorium, and it's just kind of like all of all of the best celloists are there, and you're auditioning for the big cello job. That's like episode seven of the first season. Wait, but I'm I'm the last one who auditioned. Yeah, but I do a dance that's a ballet hip hop performance. Yeah. Like uh, save the last dance while playing the cello. Yeah, 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 yeah. And everyone's clapping, and they're like, "You can have the job, but you have to move out of the apartment with your five friends because no celloist has roommates." That's a lie. Musicians are poor, but that's is for the story because you're gonna you work here now at the big cello uh, auditorium. I thought you were gonna say factory for a second. <laughs> Okay, I will move out on my own and be the best cellist that ever celloed. Yeah. Dodo, what's happening? He's like, if we're being, uh, we just can. Uh, I don't need full control. Give, can I have the arms? The show is called uh, Chellin' Out. I'm to understand. Oh, nice. I just need the arms. For what? Is it I, gonna hurt? It's no. You want? I'll just. I just. I can use. Do the you want to play the cello? No, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna cut through the wall of this, and we're gonna run, and we're gonna try to find. We're gonna try to find Ron and what? We'll find Marlon. Also, I, I'd like to find Terry. Is pretty cool. I think she's got like good vibes too. We should find her. Oh no! I was bitten by a radioactive spider, and now I have heat vision, so I can see where my friends are, and I can also fly. And, and he goes, I, and then you're is just like helping? saying that. He goes. Jamie, can I just have the arms? <laughs> I'm trying to help. No, I know I get it, but I don't think that's how the story's not gonna go. They're trying to. If I get hurt, I'm gonna be really mad and not trust you again. Uh, Jamie, I don't. I can't guarantee you won't get hurt, but I can guarantee you I'll do everything in my my power to protect you and us. Okay. And then you, you, you say, okay, and like, you just like, you kind of, your arms kind of turn into like the feathery things and then your feet themselves like kind of have the cassowary claws. And so you just start like running forward and just kind of anime style, like flapping your, flapping your wings and like these like X's come out, hit the wall. And then you just like, do kind of like a forward somersault, like a forward flip where you just like cut through with your giant spooky like mystical cassowary talons and then sure enough you just see 
this weird like it looks like part of the hollow deck has been like slashed open so everything around it still looks like the stuff you were seeing like your five roommates are crying because you're moving out but then there just looks like a rip in reality and you can see through it it is just like a giant hole has been ripped in the wall and he's like all right jamie we gotta run okay let's go and you fucking book it like you are so fast i think we just get this like shot where like there's already people like trying to come and check out where jamie like cut open the giant hole in the wall and you're just like running past them dodging under jumping off of walls and dodo it, he's not lying he's helping you out and you're running through uh we cut over back to ron you've just been kind of <laughs> sitting there just like this giant you're just kind of stuck and Slowly, more and more trees are disappearing. Like, the grass looks weirdly lower quality. Everything's just, like, shutting off. And then you hear just this voice. Final viewer leaving now. Shutting down in five, four, three, two. And then, Ron, you just see all of the hollow cube around you starts to, like, de-res. And you just see it. And you just start to see the floor beneath you. You're now, like... Shaking, you're turning back into normal Ron. It's like the nanobots are leaving your body. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. oh wow, that's a phenomenon. And then you start to see like the bottom of the floor is starting to like slowly open up. Uh, oh, that, that probably ain't good. You're doing that. I make for the corners of the grid. Yeah, you're, you're just like holding on the corners. Uh, and then Ron, the floor opens up and you fall out of the spaceship. All right, Ron. Like, just like as this is about to happen, Ron just like holds his nose and takes a big breath, like holding his cheeks to out. We cut over to Marlin. Uh, I'm following after Martin Douglas. Marlin is like, he's really hurt. He's got five harm, like two from dying. Um, his stomach hurts. He's like upset. He, do he does like, Marlin's not a good person, but he does care about Ron. And mm -hmm. he doesn't want Ron to get hurt, but he wants to kill Mammon, but he's scared of Mammon. And he's angry, and he feels like, Mammon already got the fucking deal. What does he want putting us in this spaceship? He's just so... He's just stomping. He's just, like, shaking. He's just, like, a little a, a twiggy ball of rage uh, following this guy who wants him to help him kill a demon. He, you're following him around. He's, like, sweaty. He's, like... And then, like, Martin's, like, really... He's, like, kind of crawling in through, like like walls and panels and stuff and then now you're kind of in like a main corridor and there's a big commotion going on you hear like alarms going off uh you hear some like blasters going off in the background uh as like speak like and you just hear like comms being like being like oh we gotta we, we got a main character loose we got a main character loose caution caution main character loose. yeah i'm the fucking main character that's right i'm the fucking main character it's a, it's a fucking joke it's a fucking sick and you're sitting there being like yeah i'm the main character and then you see on the walls with the alert is you see a picture of Jamie saying main character lose, main character lose. <laughs> okay. But it's funny. It's fine. It's funny. It's great. I it's, <laughs> he's just like, is Martin saying anything to him? He's Martin's, Martin, <laughs> Martin's like, he got, we, in, Martin's he got, inner, he got jokes. Martin's inner monologue is like, <laughs> fuck, this guy, uh, this guy's not going to be much of a help. Like, he's uh, he, he's losing it. So, Jamie, you still kind of think it's a video game, especially this part. And this is not... You're not, like, killing anybody, but, like, did you ever play Mirror's Edge or things like that? Like, kind of, like, you're just, like, fucking parkour running through, dodging around. People are shooting at you, and it almost feels like bullet time with you dodging it. And you just, like, are running around, and you've gotten them, and Dodo is just kind of... He he's directing you, so it feels like you're kind of like on a ride in your own body at the same time. As uh, those like, oh wait, I smell, I smell one, I smell the, uh, yeah, it's his cologne. I smell Marlin. Let's go get him. Okay, okay, hold on. And so like he's like, we gotta we gotta take a little loop room. We gotta lose him. And okay. So he like runs, does that, and like he's really fast milk. And so like Marlin, you two are like trying to sneak up, and then you don't even like before you notice you're just saying all that. Uh, Jamie, you do walk up behind Marlin as he's just like rumbling to himself, and he looks fucking like, and especially not in the hollow deck. Like also, yeah, since you're out of the hollow deck now, you look awful. Feel awful. Yeah, you feel awful. Marlin, ah, ah. we gotta get out of here. G get Ron, get Ron. His show's getting I, canceled. I don't know where he is. Go find him. Dodo can find him, right? He goes, I don't. I smell Terry. I don't. I don't. I don't smell. I don't smell Ron in the ship. We need to get like, Terry. I'm, too. I gotta go do something else. And then Martin, okay. Martin goes like, Oh, wait, hold on. Let me. And then he pulls up like there's like a little com. He like knows how to navigate it. And you see 
this little thing that goes cancel like you see a cancellation countdown and you see like the floor opening up and like Ron backing up uh, and then you see like the floor open up and Ron falls out of the spaceship. Ron's in space. Can he live in space? He can be stabbed. So maybe he can live in space. How do we get him back in the space? Can you go save him? Don't know. Go. I'm doing something else. I gotta. Ron might be dead. No. Ron might be dead. No, none of this is real. Jamie. I put my hand on Jamie's shoulder. I'm like, Jamie, nobody's dead until they're actually dead. Remember what I told you before. There's still a chance. Don't give up. For real. I, he looks terrible. He looks yeah. so fucked up. He's been He's smoking like fake sweaty crack. And He's sweaty. Like, He's bleeding. I mean, listen, if we can, we can get Terry. We can, we can help you out. But like, you know, where, 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 where are we going? Tell, ask, tell, tell him that. Tell him we can. I can. What do you want to do, Jamie? You want to go get Terry, or you want to go with Marlin? I want to get Ron. J- Jamie, I do not smell Ron on the ship at all. I can. I can smell everybody. But I've we been... have to get him from space. We got to get a little spaceship and go get him. Find a grapple gun. A grapple gun. The, I, I lean in really close to Jamie. I was like, this guy's a demon hunter, and I'm gonna try to kill Mammon. So I gotta go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think Mammon put us here. I'll I, get Terry I feel and really Ron. Really bad. Tell Ron I'm sorry. Actually for not going after him instead, but I gotta do this for all of us. Okay, but then we'll meet back up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, Good luck. I give, uh, I give Jamie a hug. You give Jamie a hug, and this giant ship just comes busting through like the hole of the side of the spaceship. We cut over two, we rewind the clock. Ron, the floor is like slowly opening up beneath you. It's okay to be scared <laughs> if your horse is your friend. And then you just hold your breath as you sing the It's Okay to Be Scared song, falling out of the sky. And Ron, you're, it sucks. But you're kind, you know, you're, it's okay to be scared. And you are scared and you're just kind of like ready for the hit. And you're just like, how long is it going to be until like, we're really far up in the sky. And then way sooner than before you, you feel, you feel your body slam down and hit like a hard surface. And Ron opens his eyes. And yeah, you are in a, it is, it, it is a, it is, it's, not the same kind of spaceship, but it's it is a ship that can you know it's wow it seems like the same set designers yeah. put this one together uh, also. But you see on the on the sides of the like the wings of it, you see two two hands that just like pictures of hands with thumbs up on it. Ron looks up and gives it a thumbs up back yeah. and kind of passes out again. Ron kind of passes out again, and then we cut back to the pl- the space the ship that is like crashing in has like two thumbs on the sides of it. It's like shot up a bunch and it slams down crashes in and there's just a very strong looking man in the front and he's like he looks tattered and messed up he goes anyways we told you we'd come and help and we did so there you go ron and then he gives you like and like ron you you passed out and the next thing you know you woke up because you were falling out of a spaceship and then this man is like reaching out. You don't know him. He hands you, and it's just kind of like, it is like a medallion with a thumbs up hand. He dies at your feet as this happens. And then like, there's starting to be like decompression in the plane, in the spaceship. Everything's like going fucking crazy. Uh, Mario looks like, oh shit, this is good. We gotta go. We gotta get, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Okay. And I, but I, I see Ron's alive. Yeah, Ron's alive. I see, uh, look, look, Jamie, I was right. Oh my God. I fucking told you. Cool. Okay, go. I gotta. No, get to, no. Mario's like, everybody, Terry. we gotta go. We gotta okay, go. Okay, because, let's go, let's like, go, let's stuff go. is starting to get sucked out. Mars like, in here, in here. And I so follow you, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all run through this doorway. The camera, like, goes back into a wide shot. And we see on the top of the doorway, the musical room. Audio Roadshow is an actual play podcast using the Monster of the Week system. I'm Paul Byron, and I played Ron the Chosen. I'm Allison Mayer, and I played Jamie the Monstrous. I'm Shannon Strucci, and I played Marlon the Crooked. And I've been your GM, Joel Ruiz. Music by People Need Goals, Zach Nichols, and Sarashu. With character art by Christine Marina, and episode art by Sarah Gobble. For additional information, please visit our website at audioroadshow.com. 
And thank you so much for listening to episode 17, main character. We're super close to finishing up arc three, the mystery of the attractive town, with only two more episodes to go. And before we get to those, I just want to tell you, you know, thanks to all the patrons that have been supporting the show. And uh, I'm very excited for what we got coming down the pipeline. If you're interested in becoming a patron, it's a great way to show support for the show. It gives us money directly. Uh, I'll be actually updating the Patreon in the next month or so to actually change it to uh, the Do You Validate Studios Patreon. And it's going to house all the stuff I do for the upcoming studio and network that I'm launching. But you'll still be able to get all the stuff from ID Roadshow there, including things from a new sketch show I'm going to make called In Person Live, as well as the new Scum and Villainy show I'm going to be making called SS Bad Ship, with an entirely new cast, but there's also an uh, Oddity Post show that we still post on the off weeks, so if you wanted to hear some behind the scenes talk like this clip. She hasn't had time to process any trauma, and there keeps just getting more and more piled on her. Yeah. Joel. What? A boy tried to kiss her and he exploded. That, that would have fucked me up so bad. That did happen. Yeah. And- <laughs> But then, you know, you, I gave And then her mean, evil, not mother told her to be bulimic and yeah, marry a prince for money. Yeah, that also did happen. And then sure. she got stabbed. Okay, that one might also be on me. I'm just saying. I She's going to be make, in a trauma hole. I You're like, make, how's Jamie? She doesn't know. She I doesn't make, think about it. I don't make the rules. Go become a patron. That's available to the $5 level patrons. And for $10 a month, you get access to brand new episodes. And if you're generous enough and you want to give us $20 a month to become an Eternal Light level member, we will send you a postcard every few months. After six months of being a member, we'll send you a nice little cool swag bag with exclusive stuff from Oddity Roadshow. And on top of that, at the end of every episode, I give an Eternal Light level member a shout out. Like today, I'm going to shout out Alejandro. Thank you so much for supporting the show. It's amazing that you're an Eternal Light level member. Member. I re- legitimately just like saying your name, Alejandro. It's very fun. It's phonetically pleasing. The money you give me is helping us, you know, get all the new gear, getting prepped for my new studio. It's really cool of you to do, and you know, you're you're special because you've decided to give us twenty dollars. You can buy me thinking you're special. That's what Patreon is, especially the Eternal Light level. So once again, thank you so much to Alejandro for giving us twenty dollars a month. Uh, thank you for that. I know I said thank you twice, but I really mean. It. And we like I said, you can go join Patreon today to go to patreon.com slash oddity roadshow and eventually we will be updating it to add a bunch more stuff so you get more bang for your buck. And uh, I'm very excited. Uh, we have two more episodes left in this arc and the next one is legitimately a live improvised musical episode. We have two guests. Well, technically, we have three guests. We have two speaking guests, and then we have a third guest who she doesn't have a speaking role in it because she's playing keyboards for us the entire time, and we have 14 original songs that we are playing. So episode 18, No Problems, is a full live musical episode. And I'm bringing that up because on June 27th, when it actually drops to the public, on our Twitch, twitch.tv slash RD Roadshow, we are going to be doing a live listen along to episode 18, No Problems, because we we actually filmed the episode we won't be showing the whole tape for everything but each of the live improvised songs we've already cut it up we have the actual video of us doing this live on june 27th uh, i was probably going to be around 7 or 8 p.m eastern time i'll definitely make an official post on on our twitter and everything like that probably even on this episode thing where if you want to come listen live myself and the rest of the cast and the guests are all going to be chatting along live talking about the musical songs that we made and we'll even talk to you afterwards and do a little Q&A. One of my favorite episodes. It's so silly. And then we end out the arc with episode 19, which is just a gut punch of an episode. I'm so excited for it. So like I said, we got a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline. You know, so if you want to be a patron, it's a great time now. Help support us as I'm building a brand new studio based out of Atlanta, Georgia. I'm launching a new show called SS Bad Ship, and I'm already working on a few more shows that I'm going to be launching under the network. And so there's a lot of good stuff coming down the pipeline. And even if you can't support financially, I totally get it. Tell your friends, get people to listen to the show. Just share the website, idroadshow.com. You know, social media is kind of all on fire right now. So so whatever you want to tell people to listen to it on, go go do that. So once again, thank you so much for listening to episode 17, main character. And I'll see you in two weeks for episode 18, No Problems. Excuse me, uh, sir, sir, we have a we have a problem here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, the whole thing's on fire. No, they went to the musical room. Yeah, the musical room. Yeah, I know. We can't we can't get to them until they complete the... Ch- I know, it's the problem with the musical room. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? Okay. 
I just monitor the situation. I gotta literally put out these fires, and then you know, I guess I guess we'll just see what they do. Maybe they'll sing some songs. Hopefully they'll kill themselves. A lot of people do in the musical room. All right. So okay, just yeah. Just oh my god. Oh oh. How, half the half the ship is on fire. We gotta go.